to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, February 20th, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. At some point in their life, everyone's had a friend who made you say, oh God, here we go again, which is almost immediately followed by something insane happening. And in the bodybuilding world, Larry Wheels is starting to become that friend. Over the weekend, the strongest bodybuilder on earth was seen grinding out a ridiculous set of dumbbell presses with a pair of 220 pound dumbbells, which is something I can honestly say that I've never seen in person before. Even at the peak of his powers, I don't even think Ronnie Coleman was capable of doing some of the stuff we're seeing this guy do on a regular basis now. So as long as he can keep it up and stay injury free, I say more power to him. I'm reading a book about habit by Charles Duhigg right now, and there's a really cool section where he talks about Michael Phelps' pre-race routine and how he and his childhood coach developed this series of habits that allowed him to mentally prepare by going through a series of checkpoints. And if I had a guess, classic physique standout Khalid Chikawi now is putting together a pretty solid habit list of his own. Updates have been trickling out of the third year pros camp over the last two weeks that look to me like he's already managed to beat the level of conditioning he brought to the Olympia last year. Khalid is one of those guys who always surprises me when I see how well he stacks up against some of the top level guys. So I wouldn't put it past him to be capable of pulling off a top five finish by the time this thing is all said and done. I've read some debates between experts about whether or not athletes being in the zone is a real thing. But at the end of the day, whether it's real or not doesn't really matter, because whatever lane or zone Chiron Holden is locked into now is one that should have a lot of people worried. Right now, Holden is attacking these last two weeks of his prep like he's got a personal vendetta against someone in the lineup. And people close to the source are telling me that he's made it his personal mission to show the world that he belongs in the conversation with the other elite athletes in the division. It goes without saying that this year's men's physique lineup might be the best one we've ever seen. But a top five finish here would go a long way towards getting this guy the recognition he deserves. Lately, I've been hooked on that new Blue Planet series that came out on Netflix. I think it's one of the coolest things ever to see some of these rare species doing what they do in their natural habitat. So once I burn through these last few episodes, maybe I'll have to hop on a plane so I can go catch one of the rarest and most mysterious creatures in the 212 division in his own element. A few days ago, we were able to see an off-season update emerge from the former Arnold Classic champ, Aman Ashkenani, who apparently has not been missing any meals lately. Without a 212 lineup in this year's Arnold, talks about the division have slowed down some over the last few weeks. But I'm telling you, with this title being up for grabs, by the time June hits, we're going to be seeing guys like Ashkenani in full-scale campaign mode, trying to keep the attention focused on them, heading into the big dance. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.